1967 Gilben GT. Um, this particular car is the last one made in June of 67. Um, oh, sorry. I bought it in 2005, uh, inquiring uh, a full restoration, which uh, roughly about 10 years later it was, uh, it was completed. The blue one is also a, a GT, that's uh, a similar year, um, 67. Um, not a restored car, but it's uh, been repainted. And uh, the third one, the silver one, is a Mark III Invader. That was uh, the last model of Gilben made up to about 73, 74. We've got three amazing vehicles that have been selected as the people's choices today. Um, so uh, our first runner up is Alex Fernell with the TVR Chimera 450. Alex. Congratulations. Here is your uh, prize, which is a detailing pack from our friends at Spitfire Collection. Uh, very many congratulations. So uh, tell me a little bit, a bit about the, the TVR. So it's a Chimera 450, it's a four and a half litre Rover V8. Haven't had it too long, six months, I think about it now. Um, just general tidying up and um, sorting a few issues out. So is this a keeper? It's the keeper for sure, yeah. It's little uh, George's car over there in the pram. So the keeper for him when he's bigger. George is a very lucky boy indeed. <laughs> congratulations, George. And congratulations, Alex. Well done. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. So our second runner up uh, is the 1957 Austin A35 of Jamie Carter. Jamie. And again, here's a detailing pack from our friends at Spitfire Collection for you. Cheers. So we were chatting a little bit about, you've had this car eight years, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> um, done quite a bit to it in the time or not a lot really? Uh, it's been respraying and a couple of little modernisations, but nothing too major. Little modernisations? Yeah, just an SU carburetor and a couple of little bits to make it a bit more usable. A bit go faster. There's loads you can do with those A-series engines, isn't there? Yeah. Very tunable. Yeah. It's not, it's, it goes all right. It goes all right. <laughs> <laughs> it goes all right. Yeah. And uh, have you got other British classics or is this just the, the, the only car in your collection? Uh, it's my only car. I don't really go to a lot of events, to be honest. I just sort of put, saw it on Facebook and popped down. Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming. It's really brilliant you brought it out. Yeah. People loved it. It's such a great little car. Yeah. And, uh, and you love it? Yeah, I love it. I'll keep it forever, I think. <laughs> oh, that's look good to hear. Well, it's got a great custodian, Jamie. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. Very much. So, and the winner of the People's Choice Award today at Simply British is Toast Rack from the engineering faculty at the University of Southampton. Do you want one of you want to come forward, Will and you guys? Are you coming too? Come on down. So here is. I'm not sure if it's the sort of vehicle you'd ever do detailing on, but here is a detailing pack. <laughs> and here is the trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so tell us about the history of, of Toast Rack, because we were just chatting a little bit before, yeah. and it has got a fascinating history, hasn't it? Yeah, so it was, it was originally the tour bus in the Great Orm, um, kind of did know, in 1928 through the 30s and 40s, um, and a bunch of students bought it for 24 quid in 1958. Uh, and it's been housed by the university, run by students, maintained, rebuilt, 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 rebuilt and driven by, the, by uh, students ever since. Sounds like the best 20 quid the university ever spent. Uh, probably. <laughs> but you guys have to do fundraising, don't you, to look after this, this, this vehicle, which is a really special, special shower bank. Oh, yeah. Um, so we, we, we're not affiliated with our students union because it, you can never rely on an income there. So we're almost entirely funded by members of the public or uh, alumni from the university or staff and students just donating their time and money to help us out and keep it going on the road. That's fantastic. Now, you were telling me you've got lots of reasons why you love Toast Rack. <laughs> you also said you close at five. So now is your moment. <laughs> Well, it, it's very unique. At the end of the day, it's, uh, it forms one of two societies across the UK that take care of vintage vehicles. And it's just fantastic being able to take care of such a, a piece of the history because the university gained chartership in 1952. Toast Truck has been around since 1958 at the uni. Yeah, so. And you, you drove it here this morning and overtook vehicles on the way, apparently. Oh, yes. And a cyclist as well, which <laughs> is amazing to, to see the fact that the engine is being run in and it's improving like literally month by month. 
Brilliant. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you so much for bringing Toast Rack, which I should say is a, a it was a Dennis G type yeah, charabang. That's his proper, put it properly, but it's Toast Rack to me and to you. Congratulations once again. Let's give the guys from University of Southampton a big round of applause.